So recently there was a positive detection in a couple of states of equine herpes myeloencephalopathy. And that included Oklahoma within the, the last week or so at, at a horse show that was held at the Tulsa uh, fairgrounds. Equine herpes myeloencephalopathy is the neurologic form of equine herpes virus one. And equine herpes virus is a very common virus uh, in, within our equine population. We commonly see respiratory signs. That's generally, you know, we, we, the common name of equine herpes virus would be rhino. And so we can also see a neonatal form as well as an abortion form. But the one that's most concerning is again, this equine herpes myeloencephalopathy. That's the neurologic form of the virus. We're particularly concerned because in most instances, there's a 30 to even 50% mortality rate if a horse starts exhibiting neurologic signs. This is a very typical virus and that it has an incubation period of usually seven to 14 days. It's transmitted by respiratory, so it can be aerosolized for a short period of time. However, the most common ways of transmission are either nose to nose contact or through uh, common drinking areas can be a problem. And even those of us that handle horses can carry the virus on our clothes, on our hands, et cetera, and spread it from horse to horse. Once we have a detection, we want isolation of those horses and we want monitoring of those horses at a very minimum of taking temperatures, in my opinion, at least twice a day. And we're trying to look for any signs of fever. With that, uh, you know, when we go to a show, because we're starting here, we're in the middle of spring, we're starting these heavy show months as we enter summer of major equine events across the nation, we really need to be thinking about biosecurity. So first and foremost, if I'm going to a show, I want to think about making sure that those stalls that I'm about to put my horses in are disinfected. A great disinfectant that works is a bleach to water combo in about a one to 10 ratio to spray those stalls down. But if I do see either fever or I see respiratory signs in any of my horses, I wanna get them isolated and I wanna make sure that if we have something contagious that we're talking to show management. In Oklahoma, it's important to recognize that it is required, any equine neurologic case is reported to the Oklahoma Department of Agriculture. The Oklahoma Department of Agriculture does have funds available to do free testing on horses that are neurologic to see what the potential cause is because we're concerned for the equine industry in Oklahoma and really nationwide. For more information regarding equine herpes virus and specifically the neurologic form, visit our SUNUP website and we'll provide additional links there.